just ladies listen to what i'm about to say right now and you can lock this guy in 20 minutes i'm not even fucking lying to you so we listening all right listen when you meet him lock right? down and like i bet y'all could lock one down but it, it's, especially if you were like hey i'll accept that you have options i'll also still be an awesome wife to you and all this stuff but who would want to do that you know for like a broke guy or something yeah. but what i would like to say is that you're probably gonna get cheated on no matter what sometimes like whether it's the rich guy or the poor guy so it's like do you want to like cry in a honda or cry in the bentley you know what i'm saying so sometimes if that is the case it's like 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 when i have to like when my daughter gets older that's the kind of the shit that i'm gonna have to tell her i'm gonna have to be hyper realistic yeah. that society sucks today this is how men are today and it, as long as it sucks saying this, but you know, I don't, I want you to, I, I want her to get the ring. That's what, that's why I would tell all y'all just get the fucking ring. If he's doing that shit, if he's that type of guy, just get the fucking ring because at least then you can take his ass for half or whatever the fuck, you know, <laughs> like at least then you, you have some leverage, but you got nothing if you don't get the ring. And the only way you get the ring is by comfort, like, like doing exactly what he wants. Compliance is exactly what he wants. It sucks, but that's the game. Um, Let's ask Mike that same question though about, uh, Oh, yeah. How do women? How do women lock down a top tier guy, bro? How many hours you said? Uh, ten days. In ten days. No, fuck all that. You can get him in twenty minutes. Hold up. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, just ladies, listen to what I'm about to say right now, and you can lock this guy in twenty minutes. I'm not even fucking lying to you. So we listening. All right, listen. When you meet him, right? Fuck him immediately. No, oh. don't go okay. crazy. Don't, don't, See, no, 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 no. Don't go crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Don't go crazy. Listen, hear me out, because I already know what you're gonna say. Oh no, he's gonna think I'm a hoe. No, we're not. I promise you, we're not. See. Well, guys like me, right, when girls fuck me on the first date, well, that tells me that, oh, shit, you're feeling me, right? Okay, cool. Because let's be honest here. The guys that you really find attractive, you want to fuck them on the first date anyways. The guys that you're really down for. Yeah. Like, you're going to make rules for guys. You're not going to make rules for guys that you actually really like. You break rules for rules for alphas and you make rules for betas. And if you do that, you know what I'm saying? You, your head's on point. Like, please, I, I stress this. Your head has to be on point. If it's trash, he's going to be like, mm. Because what tells me, if you fuck me on the first date, I don't think you're a hoe. What tells me if you're a hoe is if I look on your Instagram and see that you're in <laughs> Dubai on a boat or on a, you know, with a millionaire or some shit like that. Cause I know you didn't buy that shit. On Fuck. a PJ. I or, know you didn't pay for that. Or if you're in a, or if you're in a new Lambo Urus or some shit like that. But that tells me if you're a hoe or not, because it's like, okay, cool. Like I that's who she's who, fucking who, with. Who bought that shit? That's what she's It wasn't y'all. Who bought that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you fucked me on the first day, it's like, oh shit, now I know I can take you seriously. And because I, you're not I, trying to play games or nothing like that. I call bullshit. Yeah, and, 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 I'm like, are you going to ask real? me about my but, body count? But, 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 but a guy who does like think that. you're a hoe, who do, a guy who does think you're a hoe that does that, I guarantee you he has a low body count and hasn't slept with a lot of girls because if you've slept with a lot of girls, you know that those are the girls most down for you. Like you've, you've, you've experienced it so many times. You're like, damn, every time those girls are the crazy ones for me. Those are the ones that would fucking, fucking Bonnie and Clyde ass bitches. Like every time they're the ones that would like ride or die. Because believe me, That's I'll find crazy. out, I'll find out, I'll find out if you're a hoe some other way. You know, yeah. if you, trust me, I'll find out. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's, it's really not hard to find out if women are hoes or yeah, not. Yeah, like, she sleep with your friends because she slept with you on the first time. <laughs> So like that's what a lot of a lot She's of people would. Every dick at the bus. That, so that's what like a lot of people would say. But at the same time, like today, like I would say that that might have been true like like years ago for sure, like your generation and stuff. But like this new generation, the women are so like willing to sleep with somebody on the first, especially the college like girls twenty five and under. It's a whole new world, and it's like the same way. Little Mermaid. But it's but 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 it's just like what so I, I like to talk about because he, what he was just explaining to y'all is like there's two different kinds of games there's 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 women game and there's guy game yeah. and it's two completely opposite things like the game I would give y'all to lock down a guy is the opposite of what I would tell a guy to do what I coach men to do mm -hmm. the complete opposite but the thing is if y'all listen to what I say y'all end up with a good beta provider y'all end up with a really good guy that's like gonna be able to take care of y'all probably. But um, he's probably not gonna be the guy that like makes your coochie wet. Like he's just it's it's exactly it just it just might not be the best guy. But so so and honestly, if you want to be with a guy who's in control, like everybody wants to be with the leader. Like y'all don't want to even use y'all's own dating strategy. It's actually so flawed. Like if y'all actually use y'all's own dating strategy and get those type of guys, you're gonna end up hating yourself for it and hating him in the end. But if y'all follow what he's saying, you're gonna end up really being in love with that guy. The problem is, is that it's a gambling and you don't know if that guy is just going to fucking dick you down for like the next five years and never take you seriously. So like that's like the gamble that you do every time you do that. And next thing you know, you got 20, 30 bodies because you're listening to his gambling. advice. You right, know? You're really uh, I wanted to know, well, is he in a relationship? Are you, <laughs> are you in a relationship? I don't need to be. So here's no, the no, no, no. He's <laughs> talking about the girls giving it up on the here's first the thing. Like, where's the, here's where's the, thing. the girls well, at? When you get in a relationship, what do you want? 
that's what ultimately, I'm uh, answer the question. Answer ultimately, the question, what do you bro, want? What do I want to listen? I want to be happy. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, what? I really do. I want to be happy. I want him to make my coochie wet. That, that, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could be, you could have a lot of money, but like, is that really gonna make me happy? Like, no, you, no, no, you can no. Have so, you want to have good money. sex too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I want to have. I want to be what, happy. But what do you want at the? You know, let's say you're dating a guy for three, two years, right? What do you want ultimately at the end of that relationship? I'll give you a hint. You put it on your finger right here. What do you want? No. You're saying a ring, but yeah, like, shit. no, that, yeah. You don't want marriage? No. I, I mean, it doesn't really, at this point right now, I have to say no. You I'm ain't got the answers, answer. man. You I, ain't <laughs> got the answers. I'm, I'm 23. I don't want to be married right now, but in whatever relationship I'm in right now, I want to be happy. I want to enjoy it for the time. So the thing, the thing that Mike is ultimately saying, because Sergio mentioned this earlier in the show, is that men and women are different. Yeah. You know, you guys' form of success, whenever it comes to like, uh, finding a significant other is getting a relationship. A guy's ultimate success is getting sex. You know, so we're that's we're completely different as far as our overall dating strategy. Y'all don't want to be happy. What was that? At the end, y'all don't want to be happy. At oh, the end absolutely. Okay. But absolutely. It, but, but, but it comes from us learning a lot about women, and we learn a lot about women by having sex with them. That sounds fucked up. But what do you true. learn? You learn everything about them. Well, Guys we, are not social creatures at all. Like we're not social at all. So it takes us ten years to catch up to what y'all get to at twenty. I like, we're literally be 30 years old and then barely getting to the point where we're just as social as y'all yeah. are at 20 years old. Y'all gotta understand. Y'all had guys yeah. approaching y'all for fucking four or five years, even as fucking 15, 16 year olds. Yeah. Okay, so y'all had, y'all, we didn't get any, we didn't get any of that experience though. All that social experience that y'all got, we don't get any of that. So that's why women are so advanced that like, this is why relationships don't work when the guy's 22 and you're 20. Like, he's, he doesn't have near the experience that like you really are attracted to. And who and you know what? To who does the marriage ultimately benefit, the man or the woman? What What do you say? The man. Hmm. I think it depends on whether you I think it's splitting both. up or both. not. Yeah, because it's a marriage. If I think it only depends on if you're splitting up. Because okay, really think about this. In a marriage, do you think a man benefits more than a woman? I, I mean, what together. is your benefits? What mm-hmm. is your benefits? If you got married today, what do you think you're going to get from the woman? Sex? Her pussy? That's a man's it? not quick to get eat. married because it's like, dude, we invest everything into it. I mean, but yeah, we're the, the ones, ones who take the big us. loss. Because like, we're the ones, but y'all y'all the ones who marry. Because what do you lose? Because yeah, you got to understand, really. usually, so most the of the marry. time, most of the time, right, when a man and a woman get together, usually it's the man that makes the most money, not the woman. And then on top of that, usually it's the woman who divorces the man at 70% to 90% if she's college. right Yeah, yeah, it's 90% if she's college educated. So it's a huge risk for guys. It's it's risk mitigation for us. And like it, it, like y'all gotta understand, like this is why it's so hard to get guys today because a lot of guys, like they're not financially secure enough to like do. They can't buy houses and stuff. Like why would they want to start a relationship when they don't have the same things that their father and grandfather easily had fucking 20, 30 years ago or 50 years ago? It's way hard. Our dollars are so devalued. We can't have the same things as before. So that emasculates a guy. It makes him not want to do any and of y'all that. Gotta understand, the, a lot of guys out here really don't got options like that. I yeah, most guys don't. Most That's guys will not thing. divorce yeah. you. You you know how much of a bitch you got to be in order for a guy to divorce you? Real talk, because he's losing every, He's going to have to give half of his shit to you. Yeah. Assuming he's a dumbass and he didn't get a prenup. Like, trust me, you don't, you got to be a crazy bitch for him to want to divorce you. Yeah, and, 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 or your head just sucks. Like I said earlier, make sure your head's good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, so what and, about your head? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Because first of all, listen, I'm sucking and throating listen, and goating and all this other goddamn shit. Listen. And he can't even twiddle a thumb. Okay. This is ridiculous. Who's nuts more important? <laughs> Mine. If you try, well, that's ridiculous. Who's nuts, <laughs> women don't even who's nuts needed like to actually, have, you know, to actually <laughs> conceive a child? So, you know, I could do without the child. Nah, I'm just, we're just saying which one's scientifically more hey, you wanna, important. You want to know how to piss guy. a woman off, bro? Just fuck her and not even nut, but just be like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how she acts. <laughs> Dude. I think he has a yeah. point there. Yeah. I, I will say that. That is a yeah. good one. Watch bro. how quick he dips as soon as you don't make him nut. All right. And ladies, I got to ask, do y'all know what an incel is? Have y'all ever heard that term on the internet? No. Incel? Nobody's heard incel before? Mm-hmm. Never? That's an uh, involuntary celibate. It's a guy online who, like, uh, can't get girls. Somebody, uh, somebody who can't get get sex, even if they wanted to the most, like they just can't get it. So, thirty three percent of guys right now are in the bracket of eighteen to thirty are virgins and or haven't had sex this year. So, one third of guys aren't having sex. One third of guys are technically like incels, kind of involuntary celibates. What do y'all think a fem cell is? Have y'all like if you could just guess? You know, since since sex is such a big deal to guys, obviously sex is easy for women to get, so it's not even close to the same when we look at those stats. What is the equivalent though? If a if a guy that can't get sex is, is insulted by for call, being called an incel, what would a woman be? What's the equivalent? What do you think the equivalent is? What's a fem cell? What's the equivalent of a guy that can't get sex? A woman that can't what? 
what that doesn't want sex no no what's the equivalent it's the equivalent because when, remember men and women are not the same here we'll go to you yeah, what do you think i don't know i don't yeah, know what do you think you got me thinking what do you mean like more emotional no no here go ahead i don't even know yeah i know what do you think would it be a woman that uh, like wants sex more or something no no Answer the, just the, answer. Uh, the equivalent would be a woman that can't get can't a relationship. A you can't get a relationship. That's why she's not having sex. No, no. no I'm saying the equivalent. The equivalent. A if a guy, if a guy is a loser and everybody calls him an incel because he cannot get sex if his life depended on it, Who's we make fun of women. I especially make fun of women who can't get relationships because that says something about you. So is it, it says if you can sit there and fuck a bunch of guys, but none of them will take you seriously. That says something about you. So it goes back to what I was just saying. Just like how it says something about a guy if he can't get pussy. Yeah. Yeah, it's that just means like... he's incompetent. Hey, y'all. Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high-quality, desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.